No, 2020 is the year Democrats would try to flip Georgia from Republican to Democrat, of course. And uh, they've had opportunities in two Senate, U.S. Senate races and a presidential contest. And they've got some potential that's easy to overlook in the state House of Representatives. Doug Richards looks at whether the House is turning purple. Republican Sharon Cooper is a busy veteran member of the legislature, serving her 24th year here. It could also be her last. When Cooper ran for re-election in 2018, she barely beat an East Cobb mom. I actually put a campaign together. Louisa Wakeman, by a margin of 792 votes. Wakeman ran in part because... A friend of mine was looking for uh, bulletproof backpacks uh, for her kindergartner uh, when she was buying school supplies. That's not right. Two years earlier, no Democrat had even tried to unseat Sharon Cooper. Well, I think certainly that it has changed. Our whole state is changing. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But you know, just like I've always done, when you're elected, you represent everybody. Cooper is one of six Republicans in the House of Representatives who won election in 2018 by less than 5 percent. This election year, Democrats will target those seats and more. First, the math. The Georgia House of Representatives has 180 seats. Following the 2016 election, Republicans controlled 118 of those seats. By the time votes were counted again in the 2018 election, Republicans lost 13 of those seats to Democrats, giving Republicans a 30-vote margin. To pull even this year, they would need to flip 15 more red seats to blue. So they would have to flip those which are toss-up seats, but they would also then have to make headway in a number of districts where you know, an incumbent Republican would be favored. Now add geography to the math. In 2018, Republicans in these House seats won by less than five percentage points, so they're the most vulnerable this year. There are six more House seats Republicans won by margins of less than 9 percent. If Democrats could flip them, it would give them 12 new seats. But the next three would be tough. In these districts, Republicans won in 2018 by margins ranging from 10.7 to 15.3 percent. And in the rest of the state, the Republican margins were even higher. Everything has to go just right for you in order for the Democrats to, to flip the House. It's going to be a challenge still this time, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm raising more money. I'm uh, getting more people involved with the campaign. But there is uh, no lack of enthusiasm and uh, fervor in this community. So can Democrats flip the Georgia House of Representatives? Politicians of both parties like to say that in an election, anything can happen. But Democrats say in 2020, they'd do well just to come close.